What we're going to do in this exercise is find the domain and then state it in interval notation. So these are in the function format and we're asked to find what values of x can we put there or another way to ask what values can we not put there to make this something undefined. Well, in this first case, no matter what value we put for the x, it will never result in a denominator that's zero. So for this first one, the domain is all real numbers and in interval notation we put it from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now this is just another way of saying whatever value that comes out of here will always be positive. We are to take the absolute value of this. So again, whatever value you put for x will never make this function have a denominator of zero. So again, for this, it's all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now here, when we see that the variable is in the denominator, that's where we have to take particular notice. So in this case, if x has some value that makes this denominator a zero, then that value of x would not be in the domain. So what's the strategy for doing that? Well, you just say x plus 4 equals zero. You're wondering what value of x in this denominator would make it a zero. And then you get x equals just transpose that, a negative 4. So if x were a negative 4, negative 4 plus 4 would make the denominator a 0. So this value is not to be included in the domain. So you would give this a couple of ways. Now in roster notation, you'd say that, and again, just reviewing this, x is such that x is a real number, any real number, but cannot be negative 4. So that's one way of putting it. Now, they ask actually that you put it in interval notation. So, let's do that. Now on a number line, it would look like this, where negative 4 is not included in the domain. Because if it were, it would make our denominator a 0, and that's undefined. So how do I write that in interval notation? Well, it's all these other numbers are good. So it's coming from negative infinity it goes up to negative 4 and just before negative 4 it stops and then on the other side and we have to use this symbol which is a union symbol meaning that this is all ties in together and then it starts at negative 4 on this side and it goes up to positive infinity so you'll see this in some of the answers that they give you so that's what we have here Find the domain and state it in interval notation. Now, interestingly, I took these right from the practice in MATLAB, and this, these are the solutions.